Hey, Barbecue family. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode on our channel. I'm Maddie, and this is Kiki, and we are Canada's favorite female grill masters. And this week, guys, we are coming to you with a brand new grill. It's an offset smoker custom built for us. I can't believe it. It's something that every grill master cherishes most, welcoming a new grill home. It was just me doing a drum solo. Hi hat. Hi hat. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're so excited about showing you this brand new grill and we're breaking it in with an incredible recipe using Noble Premium Bison because everybody knows that if you're getting a new grill, you gotta do something snazzy on it the first time. Everybody also knows when you are welcoming home a brand new grill, first things first, gotta get started with the burn off. Let's do this. Okay guys, we cannot wait to show you this. Are you guys ready to see this new grill? Three, two, one. Just look at this beautiful beast of a grill. You can sear right over the firebox, easily control temperature and airflow with these dampers, lots of space for grilling in the main barbecue area. It even has a fold down table. And just check out the three level smoking chamber. So cool. And maple leaf wheels for your Canadian barbecue sisters anything on our brand new beautiful grill we have to do what's called a burn off so all a burn off is is adding a lot of hot charcoal into our grill make sure that we're burning off any residues or chemicals that are in the grill from the grill building process so what we're going to do is start adding the charcoal into the firebox area and we're going to add on some wood chunks to season the grill Shut the lid. We're gonna go on the side here and make sure the dampers are as open as possible to make it so the charcoal is gonna get as hot as possible. Make sure the stack is open. Now all we need to do is wait. So our burn off has been going for about two hours. Let's see where we're at when we're talking about the coals here. Let's check them out. Okay, so you can see that our coals are almost died down completely. That's a great sign for any burn off, but now it's time to season our offset smoker. You wanna get yourself some vegetable oil. Do not waste time with some good quality oils like olive oil, just get some vegetable oil. And then we're just gonna spray this around the inside of the grill. So you guys might be wondering, but why am I even seasoning the grill? So the reason why you season your grill is the exact same premise as seasoning your cast iron cookware. It's to prevent rusting and it's to prevent food from sticking to the grill. So let's go. You don't need to worry about flare-ups or anything like that because our heat source is right here. So now we're gonna season the firebox. There might be a little bit of flare-ups because this, again, this is where the heat source is, but we still gotta get in there and make sure that we season it. The oil's been added and in order to complete the seasoning process, we need to get this grill fired up again. We have another chimney that's lighting right now so that we can get it dumped back into our grill, but let's get to talking about our recipe. Today we're making our Spice and Bison Burger. Bison has so much more than beef, more flavor, more iron, more vitamins, and more omega-3s. You guys might be thinking, but why bison over beef? Well, here's your answer, barbecue family. Bison is leaner than beef, it's lower in saturated fats, and it has 25% less calories than beef. It's gonna make for one juicy mouth-watering burger. Plus, we're gonna top it with a homemade pesto. We wanted to go with a wild theme for this burger, and it all starts with foraging for wild edibles, and we're gonna be using garlic mustard for the base of this pesto. It's spicy, it's garlicky, it's gonna pair perfectly with this burger, but in order to get the wild mustard garlic, we gotta go find some. Honey, are you ready to get wild? Let's do it! Let's get Our spicy garlic mustard pesto is gonna be fantastic on this burger. Let's put it together. The zest and juice of one lemon going into a food processor. Some garlic, of course, for a pesto. Fresh basil. Parmesan cheese. An 
expect an ingredient for uh, pesto. We're gonna be adding some walnuts today, but you could use pine nuts. We just really love the creaminess of walnuts in this recipe. Some chili flakes, and because after all this is a spice and bison burger, we're gonna go a little heavy handed on the chili flakes. Um, salt and pepper, one for good luck. Olive oil, our precious garlic mustard. Now a little of this goes a long way. You don't wanna overload the garlic mustard because then it's gonna be a little bit bitter. So we just want a few leaves just to give it that nice, peppery, zingy, garlicky flavor. That's the consistency we're looking for. And this is gonna go great on our Spice and Bison burger. Today we're using Noble Premium Bison. We've used two packages of the extra lean ground bison. We're hoping to get eight patties out of this. So what we're gonna do here is just flatten the meat out in our bowl here. Okay, and then you're just gonna half it like that, half it again, and just continue doing that until you get eight patties. And now, all we're gonna do is form these into perfect patty sizes. And you guys might be thinking, wait, Maddie and Kiki, there's no egg in here, there's no breadcrumbs. And you're right, there isn't any of that because we are purists when it comes to making burgers. This bison tastes so good. Why would you wanna add all those other flavors and drown out the flavor of the bison? We're keeping it pure and just seasoning the outside with some salt and pepper. We have a 50-50 mix of pink Himalayan sea salt as well as some freshly cracked black pepper. Let's see what this grill is made of. Let's get the burgers on the grill. Oh yeah, that sizzle. Uh-huh. 